May I have your autograph? Don't even start with me. I'm nervous. Don't be. This producer mm. wants to option your book. He wants this deal even more than you do. Okay, just keep telling me that. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you for coming out and supporting me. Thank you for calling me. I'd swear you said we were meeting at company. Mm, I changed it. Oh, well, as long as Buzz knows. Well, actually, I didn't tell him. But, it... Mom, I know Buzz wanted to come and pretend to be my agent, but I was up all night worrying about what, what, he, what, what would he do? <laughs> So I'm just going to tell them that my agent got hung up. You're going to negotiate it yourself? Well, sure. I mean, just the preliminaries until I find a real agent. Besides, what does Buzz Cooper know about Hollywood? Well, probably nothing. But it's a boys club, and he's a pretty good businessman. What, and I'm not? Honey, a movie producer, they are such sharks. They will rip you to pieces mm. just to save a penny. That's why I have you here, for extra protection. Oh. I'm going to be your bodyguard. I know, I have this uh -huh. vision of some old skeezy Hollywood producer who invented the casting couch, you know? Blake yeah. Marler? Oh, Ron Steele. Uh, your producer and biggest fan. Uh, oh, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> Greeting papers. Now that is dedication. Hi, Clayton. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, I want to get these back to the kids before the next class. Yeah, well, don't push yourself too hard, no. I'm not. In fact, I'm having the time of my life. Thank you for taking a chance on me. Well, believe me, no risk involved. We need teachers like you with hands-on experience. Well, if that's the case, maybe I can teach next semester as well. <laughs> now, who would have thought it, huh? Ross Marler, lawyer extraordinaire, catching the teaching bug. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. You, know, you have a lot to offer these kids. Uh, they're giving me a lot more. Tori, come here. You know Dean Bodru, don't you? Oh, of course. Nice to meet you. Everyone knows who he is. You're the best teacher on campus. Well, thank you. Well, of course, except for Professor Marler. Talks like a lawyer already. <laughs> I told you the other day that she's one of my most promising students, so much so that I've hired her as my legal assistant. I trust that won't be a problem. Okay, Mar, where are you? I... Let's hope she's not with your brother. Have you taken care of that situation yet? I need more time. No, you need to get your brother out of Springfield before he shoots his mouth off to his girlfriend. <sighs> okay, look. The only way he's gonna leave town is if Mar breaks up with him. Fine. Then engineer it. If I do that, he is going to hate me forever. Do you love your brother? Of course I do. Then live with the hatred. It's better than the alternative. Ms. Granger was about to drop out because she couldn't pay her tuition. Now, she's going to need money for school, so I offered her a part-time position to work for me. Well, I hope you're not overworking him. No, he would never do that. Well, the university has strict rules about graduate assistants and how much time they can put in working for their professors. You know, they need time to study as well as attend class. I know, I know. I'm well aware of that, and I assure you I'm not being overworked. And besides, I'm learning a lot on the job. Right, and I promise I won't give her any more work than she can handle. I'm sorry I'm Hi. late. I lost my keys and I was going to call, but it's I... It's okay. It's okay. I know you probably think it's weird that I asked to see you, but, um... <laughs> you know, because I'm not like we're friends. Really? Wow. Since? Since when? <laughs> Thank you for the plant. Yeah. It meant a lot to me that you brought it over. Really? Because I thought you might be upset that I interrupted you and Sam. <laughs> well, I... I think that the, the old me would have maybe been mad, but ever since I got to college, I've realized how immature that I've been. Hmm. You and Dad are married. Dad moved on. Just like I'm moving on. You mean from Tony to Sam? Tony was a high school crush. Sam and I were friends first, so it's more serious. It's... And I just figured since 
Oh. We're getting, you know, so close that you and I could, you know, maybe try again. It's not like we hate each other, right? No, no, Mara, I, I hope not. And Sam is the greatest guy in the world. Yeah, he is. And we, we have him in common. And Dad. And they're both crazy about you. So there must be more to me than meets the eye. <laughs> I know I kind of blew things with Sam when Tony was around. So you probably don't trust me. But I promise that I will never let Sam regret not going to school the way he had planned. You know, Mara, look, um... It's, it's the it's least so I can do. It's the least I can do. I really care about him, Olivia. On video and DVD. Mar around? No, she is not, but you are welcome to wait. You know when she'll be back? She shouldn't be long. She just went into town. Mm. Hey, come over here. Look at this. What's this? What do you think? It's the artwork for Tony's birthday party party, invitation. Party, party, party. Very impressive. We're having it at the Santos house. I don't know, show people another side of Tony away from the club. We're going all out. White linens and tablecloths and... Music and champagne. Sam? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, it sounds great. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. But your mind is on something else. <sighs> Can only we're friends, right? <laughs> That's a strange question. Of course we're friends. Uh... But Sam, uh, whatever it is, you can talk to me about it. It's about Mara. What about Mara? She thinks I'm this big hero. That picture of her father, him supposedly bribing that official down in San Cristobal, she thinks I'm the one who proved that it was artificially doctored. It's the reason she's with me, Kat. Because she thinks I rescued her dad. But the thing is, I didn't do it. What? I'm not the person she's supposed to be thinking. What do you mean? It was Tony. <laughs> what? Yeah. It was Tony. Tony's the one responsible, not me. But if, if that's true, then why didn't he say I so? I don't know. But I just know I feel like a fake. And I feel like a fraud. And I have to tell her because at this point... But if you do that, then, um... I know. It could mean... It could mean it's over between us. She could hate me. Oh, if it was anyone other than Tony. Every time. I understand your problem, um, but if you're asking for my advice... I am. I am. Okay. Don't tell Mara. Don't say a word. I need to talk to you. I try keeping her out. It's okay. This is about the families investing in some legal operations. No, it's not. It's about... Is it possible to talk to you alone? I am alone. All right, look. I've been thinking, and I can't prove it yet. But it doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Well, you're not making sense. It's the photo. The photo that cleared Josh. Oh, you mean the one that Sam came Come from? Come on. I'm not an idiot. Sam had nothing to do with that. We both know that. The three families came up with that to protect their investment in San Cristobal. Is that right? Look, I never cared 
who did it before. As long as it got Josh off the hook. But now I need something to happen. Get to the point. All right. Tony, I think you did it. And I think you did it to help Mara. Well, when can I see you? In about two seconds. <laughs> Come here. Hi, Daddy. Oh, you. Huh? Look, this woman is a resident at Cedars, and she still has time to tease her old man. Wow. Hi, Mel. <laughs> a resident? Aren't you still in med school? Oh, Dad, you just had to fit that in there, didn't mm. you? He likes everyone to know that um, I graduated a little early. Well, why not, huh? That's great. Oh, I'm sorry. Mel, this is Tori Granger, my new legal assistant. Hi. Tori, this is Dr. Melisande Boudreaux. <laughs> wow. If you're working for Ross Marley, you must really know your stuff. Well, I'm actually just getting started. Can we sit down? I'm hungry and you're late. Uh-oh. He's a grouch when he's hungry, so uh, tell Blake hello. Yes, I'll do that. So, where's your mother and Remy? Oh, well, Mom got stuck at a session in at the hospital, and um, Remy's still at football practice. So that means... It's just you and me? Disappointed? Well, not on your life. Huh? It's <laughs> about time I had you to myself. Are you sure that Remy's at football practice? Why, um, are you, uh, worried that he might be doing something that he actually likes? Like, uh, making some music? Look, music is fine for a hobby, but if Remy wants to get anywhere in this world, he Dad, has got to... Dad, Remy is really talented. You should listen to him play. Can we talk about you for a minute, huh? Nothing to talk about. Work, work, work. Oh, work, work, work. Well, then, maybe, uh, your friend Dr. Bauer and I should take a meeting and figure out how to broaden your horizons a little, huh? Dad, please. Rick Bauer is my superior, and, and we're not exactly friends yet, so don't push it just because he's a hotshot at the hospital. All I want is a little balance in your life, that's all. When you get caught up with school and work, you tend to uh, shut out everything else. I do not. Oh, uh, hey, I... remember Sean? You remember Sean, don't you? Your old boyfriend? You should have never let that one get away. That's just another example of my little girl working too hard at the expense of her other needs. That's Dad, mm. I'm fine. You taught me how to handle life. Now you've just got to sit back and let me handle it. Oh, so I did use the key that you gave me to get into your home office and rearrange some of your files. I hope that that's okay. <laughs> okay. It's great. That's why I hired you. Well, um, they were slightly disorganized, so I... Well, I took the liberty of reorganizing some of them, but I think we should talk about some things before I throw them away. Okay, but how long is that going to take? Uh, not long. We, you know, we could we could always save it for later. Uh, no, no, no. Let's 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 get it let's get it done now, and then I'll be finished for the day, and I can enjoy my date with Blake. So, where's your agent? He couldn't make it. I will be negotiating the preliminaries. Fair enough. Look, what say we put all our cards on the table? You tell me what you want, and I'll do the same. Okay. Besides the script writing fee, I would like points. Off the gross, right. Off the net. I like a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to ask for it. Mm -hmm. So, should we talk numbers? No, no, no. No, no. no numbers unless I give you the numbers. Hello, uh, I'm Miss Marley's agent, Mike uh, Berg. My friends call me Ice. Ron, Ron Steele. Good to meet you, Ice. So warm. Yeah, call you on. Sure. Let's get down to business. Mike. <gasps> Darling. It was so nice of you to come, but Ron and I are doing just fine by ourselves. She hates giving my 10%, but I'm worth every nickel of it, dear. Isn't your daughter having oral surgery? I never let my personal life get in the way of business. No, yes, she is. She needs you no, to be no, there. You should be there. How many times have I told you? The deal comes first. Now, where were we? Uh, we were talking about gross versus net. Oh, Ron, you tricky devil. Gross versus net, you would start there, wouldn't you? Actually, it was your client who mentioned it. Well, let's see. Let's say, um... 5% of the gross. Uh, are you talking 5% or 5 points? Oh, Ron, Ron, please. Percent, 
points. I mean, it's all money, and it all belongs to my client. Great. So just nine more to go. That should be about perfect, and uh, it'll be time for me to meet up with Blake. This sounds like a very important date. Well, <laughs> it's different, I'll tell you that. We're going to go horseback riding in the country, and then we're going to stop at a little inn we know of and have a romantic dinner for two. That sounds wonderful. <clears throat> you two deserve some time off. You bet we do. <laughs> now, wait till you have kids of your own. I mean, a day like this is going to seem like once in a million. We've been looking forward to it for a week. Well, you know what? Go have a great time and don't worry about anything. I promise you I will take care of everything. Thank you, Tori. You know, I can't tell you in a short period of time what a difference you've made in our lives. Thank you. We can't win with you, can we? You nag Remy because he doesn't work hard enough in football and you nag me because I work too hard. I do not nag. Yes, you do. Now, make up your mind. What's it going to be? Hard work or fun? You have a bad attitude, little missy. No, you just hate being busted. Mm. Look, all I want is a little balance for my kids. That's all. Is that too much to ask? Hey. Dr. Bauer! Hey, hey. Dad. No, I just want to ask him a serious question. I'm the man with all the answers, Clayton. Oh, well, good. Tell me, you do know. you have any young, single doctors hanging out at that hospital of yours? Hmm. You mean, uh, like your daughter, perhaps? Well, no, I... <laughs> I was referring to the male part of the equation. Yeah, we got some of those. All right. Well, yeah. then do me a favor. Can you rustle one up for me? Because my daughter is in serious need of a night out on the town. Sam, I, I know you think that I, I'm saying this just to keep Tony, but I, I mean every word. You've done so much for Mara. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, I've lied to her face, I've taken credit for something Tony did, uh, let's, I've... You rescued her from the lighthouse? And you did it again on the boat in San Cristobal? Just because you weren't behind this picture, that doesn't mean that you won't be there the next time that she's in trouble. Mara needs you, Sam, and you need her. Don't, don't let this one thing come between you. You sound like my sister. You, you told Olivia? Well, yeah. I tell her everything. <laughs> but it's different. Telling you. You're so honest and pure about everything. The feelings that you have for Mara are real as are hers for you. It doesn't matter how heroic you are. The feelings have to be there first. <laughs> You're right. You know, you are right. Thank you. Thank you, Catalina. So, um, you're not gonna say anything tomorrow? No. no. I didn't clear your husband. And even if I did, I would never have done something like that for Mara. <laughs> yeah, right. Go check on the bar. Whatever you say, boss. I was right, Tony. You did doctor that photo. You know, that's very... Interesting guess. It's not a guess. All right? I, I saw you with that man. What man? The one that replaced Josh in the photo. I saw you two talking at the bar. You know, Felix Chavez gets around. He's connected. Yeah, he's connected to you. Look, I, I don't know what the deal is or why he agreed to go to jail, but you manufactured that photo. Now I need you to take care of it. Take care of what? Tell Mara what you did. Oh, you want me to, to tell Mara that your brother's lying? You want me to ruin any chance he might have? Why? Why would you want me to do something like that? Because if Mara doesn't break up with Sam, 
Sam won't leave town, and if he doesn't go... What? Your friend Carlos is worried that Sam will tell Mara who doctored the photo, and then Mara will tell Josh, and then people will start asking questions. Oh, and the laundry business is ready to go. That's right. So will you do it? Let me get this straight. You don't... You don't just want me to blow Sam out of the water. You want me to be the hero, so she'll forget about it. And if I refuse? We're gonna go after Sam. My father's teasing you. Oh, is he? Oh, no, I'm not. Mm. Now, you haven't been out on a date in so long, you've forgotten what the word means. There you go. No, you see, no problem, Clayton. I can help you out. There's at least a... A dozen guys I can hook your daughter up with. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, um, Jones. Uh -huh. Now, he always smells like a gym locker, but once you get past that stank, he is a really decent guy. Uh, and then there's, uh, there's Thomas. Now, see, the only downside with that guy is he doesn't drive and lives with his mother. But she is a ton of fun. And the only problem is that she goes on all the dates with him. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I get the hint here. I'm pushing a little. You think so? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Is that me? No, uh, it's, it's me. Oh. University president. Damn. We're gonna have to finish this a little later. Not that I was getting anywhere with you, huh? Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Well, Sir, I'll see you right, later. See you later. You handled that like a pro. Yes, you see. You forget, Mel. You forget that I play basketball with him. You know your opponent, and everything falls right into place. <laughs> but you know what? Your dad is right about one thing. You need to get out more and see some movies with me. Why? So we can go back and forth over which one oh, to see, come have on. another fight? Would you stop being so serious? There's fighting, and then there's there's agreeing to disagree, right? Hey, call it what you want, mm. but anyone who likes Tom Hanks is a wimp. Mm -mm -mm. Just for that little snarky remark, I'm going to force you to sit through a Jimmy Stewart retrospective at the local arts theater. And just for that, I'm making you sit through the new Jackie Chan flick at the Cineplex. Car crashes and loud noises? That's the best part. What is it with you? Don't you see enough violence at the hospital? Oh, not with the good guy wins. <laughs> oh, the hospital? My day off, no less. Yeah, doctors never have a day off, you know. Well, Dr. Pedreau, how did you get this number? What are you doing at the hospital? No, no, don't come here. You stay where you are, do you hear me? Hello? Hello? So, I, I noticed that you had doubles on this one. Annie Dutton, is there any reason <clears throat> you need the extra paper? Uh, extra paper for what? You know what? This can wait. Are you sure? I am absolutely sure. Go. Have a wonderful time with your wife. Rewrites? Ron, my, my client is Barbara Cartland and Francis Ford Coppola rolled into one. Do they get free rewrites? Not in your life. Standard contracts. No, uh, did, look at this lady. Does she look standard to you? Buzz, I mean ice. Would you just listen to what Ron has to say? I was listening, and uh, the answer is no, absolutely not. I will not let her. She will be paid for every single rewrite, and uh, Ron, you get some hack to rewrite for her, and I'll drag your sorry. Hollywood butt into court for arbitration. Mom, uh, I'm, I'm sure Mr. Steele is going to be completely fair. Well, then I'm sure he understands that my client will be allowed to be on the set and talk to whatever actor she wants, whatever damn time she wants to. Fine. And that includes pre- and post-production meetings and whatever. That's and fine she with will me. be paid for every second. She will it. be paid as per the Standard Guild contract. I don't think so. We want parity with the top ten writers in Hollywood, okay? That means percent, points, the whole schmear. <coughs> Hello? How's the meeting going? Oh, um, I, I, I can't talk right now, actually. It, um... Oh, is that so? It's a, a producer, you know, another producer, but uh, he seems to be more interested in her book than you seem to be. No, you, you are, are, are Blake's first choice. 
So, not necessarily mine. Saul, Booby, what's up? Oh, uh, yeah, well, if you can just add another zero to that, maybe we can talk. Call me back, okay? You still there? I'm a producer. Look, I'm in the middle of uh, <clears throat> negotiations right now, so I, I can't talk to you about my book. What about our date? Well, I told you, I, I really can't talk right now. I will have to call you later. Mm? So, Ron, do we have a deal or what? We have a deal. We do? We still have to iron a few things out, but I want that book. No, no. Mm. Book. <clears throat> Bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a great agent here. He's wasted in the Midwest. You know, if you ever come down to the coast, we should have lunch. Back at you, Ron. <laughs> so, uh, let me make a few phone calls, and uh, I'll firm this up. You just firm it up all you want, as long as her name is on the check. I will do. <laughs> well, I told you I could do it. Thank you. Thank you. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Julius Caesar. Now that is a political prophet. What are you doing here? Catalina let me in before she went to work. I hope that's okay. You know it is. Hey, you. I am so sorry I ran off on you yesterday. No more moodiness. No more Mr. Distractions. From now on, it's Mr. Congeniality. I prefer Mr. Sam Spencer. Well, he's back, too. You know, it's okay to be moody every once in a while. Nope. 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 I'm going to have to make it up to you. Really? Yes, ma'am. Anything you want. You shall have. Oh, I think I like Mr. Congeniality. <laughs> he sure likes you. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen to Sam, okay? But I won't do what you want me to do to him. I'm gonna take care of this my way. How? I'm gonna talk to Carlos. I'm gonna smooth it all out, all right? Are you sure you can do that? It's not a problem. But if uh, Mara was grateful, that... Look, I said I'm gonna do it, and I will, okay? Are we done? Huh? We're done. I don't believe it. You know, when I saw those sunglasses and that earring, I thought I was going to puke. What? But you did it. You pulled it off. I, I have a Hollywood deal. I am spellbound. <laughs> Where'd you learn all that stuff about the set and, and production? You media? think I come unprepared? I call the Writers Guild of America. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, no, this is 10%. <laughs> You two have to celebrate. Champagne. Okay. okay. You order. I'm going to call Ross, all right? Can I wait? Uh, there's still some things we need to talk about. Oh, well, I'll get my agent. No, just you and me. <laughs> Mel. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Well, who's on the phone? You know what? I, I really have to get going. Well, what is it? I mean, I can help you out, whatever it is. If it's with a patient or a consult, I can help you out with it. No, no, you can't. Thanks, Rick. But no, I really have to go. Okay. What's this about? Take a seat. Can I, can I get you anything? I'm fine. All right. 
I hear you have some concerns about Sam Spencer. You better believe I have concerns. If he starts wagging his tongue, we'll all have concerns. San Cristobal Harbor is a major operation for us. We can't have this kid blow this whole thing up. Look, he's not gonna tell Mara anything. Okay? I can handle Sam Spencer. I can convince him to keep his mouth shut. Absolutely right. You're the one's going to handle this, Tony. Good. Good. As long as we understand each other. The thing is, I've been discussing Sam with Chicago and New York. As you know, we all answer to them. Usually, unless it's our business. Well, they're making it their business. They're concerned. They're concerned because you told them to be. No, I simply told them of the situation. And they came back to me with orders. Oh, orders? I hear you're giving yourself a birthday party. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? Well, it might be the perfect time to take care of this problem. At least as far as your alibi is concerned. Like I said, Tony. They want you to handle the problem. They want you to make the problem disappear. How? By making Sam Spencer disappear. Ice is just a nickname. Uh-huh. When he doesn't get what he wants, uh, he has a meltdown. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hello? Hi, it's Saul again. Ross, we did it. I have my deal. I, I got everything I wanted. That's wonderful. That's great, honey. Uh, let's go out and celebrate. I can pick you up in about uh, ten minutes, I'd say. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Um, I'm having... Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm with Ron. We're going location scouting. Who's Ron? Oh, he's the producer of my film. Uh, he wants to see all the places that happened, you know, for my book. Oh, okay, well, you go do that, and then we can meet up for dinner. Oh, I can't do that, honey. I promised I'd have dinner with Ron. He's leaving on the red eye tonight, and we need to complete our business. You don't mind, do you? Well... Kind of. I was looking forward to going horseback riding. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Uh, that's okay. It's business. I understand. Well, it's just that Ron has to leave tonight and everything. Um, can I take a rain check? Of course. Uh, okay, sweetie. I have to go. I love you. I love you. Well, it takes care of that. You know, you could still go riding. <laughs> I don't want to go riding alone, but uh, it's okay. It gives us more time for work. <laughs> That's funny. No, no, you just reminded me of something my dad used to say when I first learned to ride. Tori, don't you never go riding by yourself, because if you fall, it's not the horse going to pick you up and put you back in that saddle. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I, di I didn't know that you rode. Uh, well, I haven't for a while. You know, um, not since my husband died. Let's get out of here. We have work to do. No, we're not going to do any more work. We're going we're gonna to play hooky and ride the horses. Come on. I'm not going to take no for an answer, so get the stuff from. Let's go. All right. I got it. Lead the way. Close your eyes. What? Just close your eyes. Okay, you can open them. It's the invitation to your birthday party. 
I just sent him to the printers today. What do you think? That's nice. Well, they should be ready by this afternoon. And then we can sit down and decide who you want to invite. Okay? Tony, what's wrong? Oh, well, you know, I just said uh, the usual. I got, um, I got distributors, you know, bother me about payments. I got, I got health inspectors searching for rodents the yeah, same. Well, let me distract you. Don't worry about the party. I'll take care of all the details, including my new dress. Your new dress? Yeah, I'm about to go out and find it right now. Something to make you proud of me? Look, you get anything, you let me handle the... No, part. don't worry about it. I'll get it. Tony, you're gonna have a wonderful birthday. You'll see. It'll be a day that you'll never forget. I feel so safe with you. Well, you shouldn't, because you're not. <laughs> to me by mistake. <laughs> Come back here. Okay. Wow, that's weird. There's no name, just a room number. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, these are Catalina's invitations for Tony's party. Oh, wow. You better snag one now before they're all gone. I didn't tell you. I actually got an official invitation, not like I'd ever want to go. Why not? Catalina invited me. Maybe we should go together. Why? So that I can show off you to the world and let everyone know that we're official. That is, of course, if we're official. Definitely. Oh, good. We'll make it a night that we'll both remember. Birthday to me. They want you to make the problem disappear by making Sam Spencer disappear. This has been Guiding Light.